I'm Zach Mieza, the regular guy who likes DIY. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a floating shelf. Floating shelves can be costly, but with this hack, we can make them any size and personalize them to however you want. To make these shelves, I'm gonna make use of a drill press. The drill press will ensure that I get nice, accurate, straight drills, so that when I connect everything, it lines up. You can also use a hand drill, but you gotta make sure that you drill very slowly and straight so that everything lines up. The other tools that I'm gonna use, a jigsaw or miter saw, a hammer drill, a measuring tape and pencil, a scribe, a clamp, a 12 mil brad point drill, an eight mil brad point drill, an eight mil masonry bit, a 12 mil dowel, and a 32 by 94 mil pine. Let me just clear the table and let's get started. I'm just gonna measure out 500 and cut it on my miter saw. But don't worry, if you don't have a miter saw, use your trusted friend, the jigsaw. My cuts are done, and next I need to do is drill the holes. To do that, I need to get my center points on my wood using the scribe. I've got my centers, and now what I need to do is mark my holes for the dowels. To do this, I'm gonna clamp my two pieces together so that everything lines up. I'm gonna drill on what the front piece is, 100 mils from the side, that'll give me my points from the dowel. On my back piece, I'm gonna repeat the same 100 mils for the side so that everything lines up. Then I'm gonna do another two holes, 60 mils from the side, that'll give me my anchor points. All marked up, and now I need to drill my holes for the dowel. I need to drill about 50 mils on each piece. My drill press has got a full stroke of 50 mils, so I'm gonna use the full stroke to drill through each piece. The 12 mil holes are done, and now I need to finish off my anchor holes with the eight mil drill bit. Just remember to make sure your drill is right in the middle of the center. And now I need to cut my dowels. The holes are each 50 mils deep, but I'm gonna cut my dowel at 90 mils, just to be safe. The dowels are cut, and now I'm gonna assemble it and give it a good sand to make sure everything is neat and smooth. To finish it, you can finish it in anything. You can paint it, stain and seal it, you can give it something rustic, anything you really want to do. Cool, now while that's drying, let me show you how easy it is to install using this one. Mark the wall through the holes and drill. Insert your nail and anchors and fasten to the wall. And put the cap on. A nice easy way to make a floating shelf. Now remember, everything I use is available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more DIY videos with Zach, visit the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.